what's going on and you're just, you're closing me off. Like, I'm just trying to help you out. Yeah, closing you off? How? It's like, there's nothing wrong. You're just There is. You're just not, you're not doing anything. Can you tell me what's wrong? Can you please explain to me what's wrong? I can't tell you. I need you to tell me. Look, I don't even know what this argument's about. Clearly you have something going on, but if you don't, don't want to tell me, then I can't Look, really- I just- What? <sighs> tell me how you feel. I feel like... Like you... That I can't... Alex, I literally can't do this. Can we please just talk about this later? Can we please just go watch a movie like we were supposed to? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm going to bed. Alex, come on. What are you expecting me to say? I expect you to... I, I want you to, to... What? You know what? Never mind, I'm, I'm not gonna force you to open up. I'm going to sleep. Alex, wait. I'm done waiting? Wake me up when you actually wanna talk. Okay, Alex, I'm sorry. Look, you know I just hate fighting. Can we please go back to how it was in the morning? Alex! Everything doesn't seem okay. If you're what? really that concerned, why don't you just go talk to him? What? Alex, come out here right now! Oh, don't worry about him. Uh, he really can't hear either of us right now. Alex! Alex, come out here! This isn't funny! Stop! Stop playing! I told you, he can't hear us! What are you, some type of, some type of demon? Because, because you're not welcome in this home! Okay there, uh... Calm down. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, I'm as real as uh, you need me to be. Uh, we're both here right now because we want the truth. What truth? Well, I guess we'll figure that out together with questions. Uh, we each have to ask a... Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <sighs> okay. So I'm crazy. Great. Uh, we've got two options. We either go in there and we risk being tricked by the TV devil, or we go and we lay next to Alex and we risk everything staying literally the same. Okay, everything will be fine. You've got this. You can do this. Everything's gonna be fine. Yes, I have one of these too. I told you, we are here for the same reason. I'm trapped here until I get the truth, and apparently, so are you. Okay. How does this work? I was trying to tell you. We each ask the questions that we have. We both need our truths before I can leave. I don't know what that means. I know, cryptic, right? You'll know when you know. You got this. Okay. Look. If I'm being honest, I don't even know what I would ask you, so please just go. Well, you're here with me for a reason. You want something from Alex. He, I, I have an answer for you. 
What do you want from your Alex? Oh. God, I'm losing my mind. Okay, fine. If you're not real, I guess... Do you think that this is normal? What, a uh, TV boyfriend Fabio ghost discussion? Haha, <sighs> no. He's, you're up there in the bedroom sleeping right now without me. You don't want to talk to me. Is that normal? Oh. Huh. Why don't I want to talk to you? Because I don't want to talk to you? I don't know. I, I'm just scared to talk to you. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Don't do that. What? That Wh thing. That thing with your hair. I, I hate it when you do that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing that everyone does. Yeah. When they're stressed. Do I stress you out? Well, of course you stress me out. We're in a relationship. Isn't anyone in a relationship stressed out at least sometimes? No, it's not just about the stress. It, sometimes when I look at you, I'm scared because I just, I'm scared that you hate me. You think that I hate you? How did you, uh, no. Um, I mean, not all the time. But sometimes when I look at you looking at me, you look so sad, so tired, like you just want to leave. What, what if you just want to leave us or, or me? Well, you know me. You know that guy in the bedroom. Do you really think that I would stay if I was unhappy? Think about it. Would I be sleeping here in your bed? It's not that simple. I... I think it is. I don't know. I can't... I can't answer this right now. I... I think I should take a break. What? Are you going somewhere? Yes, I'm going on a break. It was getting good. Just... just stay there. Don't... Don't leave this TV box and possess my living room, okay? Just, just, just stay right there. You know, you still haven't cleaned up that popcorn. Still there. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Oh, better not be what I think it is. Uh-huh. It's an olive and mayo sandwich. Just how my mom used to make this. You know this. Oh, that's absolutely disgusting. Yeah, my dad hated it too, but... Oh, I can see why. It's a lot better than it sounds. No, it's not. Put it away, put it away, put it away. Okay, all right, calm down. Gone. You know what's funny is that my dad actually hated a lot of things about my mom. He didn't like that she was messy or, or that she worked late or that she smoked when she was stressed, but they stayed together until I was 17. Did you just make that sandwich so you could dramatically tell that story? <laughs> no. I'm telling you because because I think that I know better than you when I tell you that people stay when they really don't want to. People settle all the time. I mean, my dad did with my mom for years. So you think I'm settling for you? I don't know. That's literally the worst part is that I don't want to be like my mom. She thought that everything was okay and it just wasn't. She wasn't okay. Well, why wouldn't things be okay? Because of a fight? Everyone fights. Really? Look at this. Look at Andy Garcia and Meg Ryan. They've never had any doubts or, or fought or looked at each other like they were tired or sad. And I really, really want this and I'm scared that I don't have it. I just really don't want what my parents have. Do you think these are the only two options? Your parents' unhappy relationship 
or the one that was packaged, produced, written, and sold to sad, lonely people. I know, it sounds ridiculous, okay? That's why I never want to bring it up, because... Because maybe I am just actually scared that we're... Are you scared of us breaking up? I'm scared of everything. I'm scared that, that you're gonna leave and that you're unhappy, but I'm also terrified that you're gonna stay. And I'm scared to tell you anything because obviously I'm crazy and insecure. And I'm scared that I'm not ready to deal with any of it. I'm not ready for a relationship with the love of my life. And I'm not ready to be alone. And that's, it's not okay. What if I can never be that girl? What girl? You know, the girl that's cool and funny and smart and she's independent, but she also finds the love of her life and, and can keep him. The girl that just ends up being okay. I just want to be okay. What makes you think you aren't already that girl? Or that you can't be? Because I've never been like that. I, I've, always, I've always been like this, you know? I've always been scared. I mean, you never seem that way. <laughs> Why can't you just tell me the way you feel? I don't know, like... Like if I actually pretend that I'm okay and that we're okay, one day I'll wake up and things will finally be okay. Is it working? No. Alex, do you think, honestly, that I'm gonna be okay? I think... I think it's time for me to leave. What? No, you can't. You came here because you said that I needed to hear the truth, and, and I want to hear the truth. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be nice. You can, you can... Maria. What? You were brave tonight. No. Just remember that. Remember that you can always tell the truth. Okay, but Alex, tell me the- Alex! Alex! Alex, please come back! Alex, just tell me that I'm gonna be okay, Alex! Alex! God damn it. That movie still gets you, huh? Um, yeah, yeah, something like that. So, uh, are you okay? No, Alex, I'm, I'm actually not okay. Well, um, I guess I'll begin my prepared apology no. that I thought. Alex, stop. You don't have to apologize. Um, look, I don't know how to do this, but just try and follow along. So my mom used to make these olive and mayo sandwiches. And I know that they're really gross, but I would eat them every time they would get in this really big argument and it would make me feel better. And, and I feel like I do that now every time I can't confront anything because I don't know how to tell you that I'm actually really scared of everything, but I just want to tell you everything all the time.